Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Write Checks window to quickly write checks and then apply the amount to one or more expense accounts. If the payment that you are making doesn't involve invoices or inventory items, then this is simply the easiest payment method to use. You can access this window by selecting Tasks from the menu bar and then choosing the Write Checks command. You can use this window to pay non-invoice bills or to write checks to vendors that don't have vendor IDs. It's basically a simplified version of the Payments window that allows you to enter check information without having to enter line item distributions. Start by entering the vendor ID of the vendor that's being paid into the vendor ID field. If you are paying a vendor without an ID, then you can simply leave this field blank and just type the name of the vendor into the Pay to the Order of field. You can enter the address information for the vendor if they are not in your vendors list under the Pay to the Order of field. If you plan on printing this check, then leave the check number field blank. Otherwise, fill in the check number of the check that you wrote to the vendor. Enter the date that the check was created in the date field. Then enter the amount of the check into the dollars field. Enter the account number from which the check will draw its funds into the cash account field. Enter the account that you will expense the payment to in the expense account field. If you need to split that expense amount between multiple accounts, you can click the split button. This will open up the split transaction window. In this window, you can split the entire value of the check between multiple expense accounts if needed. You then click the OK button within this window to return to the check. You can finish by entering a description of the payment into the description field. You can make payments electronically by selecting the electronic payment checkbox in the upper left corner of this window. You will notice that when you do this, that the check number changes to say electronic and becomes grayed out. When you click the Save button, if you have not yet enrolled in the Sage 50 Bill Pay Service, you will be prompted to do so by clicking the Enroll button. If you've already enrolled but have not yet activated the service, click the Activate button and follow the steps presented to you. Otherwise, if you're going to print this check, click the Print button to print the check and assign the check number if it's not an electronic payment, or if you would like to save the check so you can print it in a batch with other checks, simply click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to save the transaction, and then you can enter more checks if needed. When you're finished in the window, click the Close button to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.